guys it is Kelly welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video and please hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video today's video is going to be a quarantine shopping haul uh, I am still supporting small businesses and also I needed to do some shopping for an upcoming birthday my husband's which is at the end of the month it is May 2nd his birthday is May 29th and I got him a couple things um, along with some stuff for me I just got out of the shower that's why my hair is wet so I'm trying to get comfortable uh, I'm going to show you the things that I got from the small business first it is another uh, book box once again from coffee and a classic I think this was uh, a box from this year that she put out I'm not sure it was new in her um, Etsy shop where she sells her uh, pass boxes and yeah so I'm gonna start with the mug that came in the box and it is uh, a burgundy which I'm obsessed with this color recently I got I bought me some leggings, I bought some Harry Potter socks, that went to my kid. If you saw that previous Hot Topic haul, I gave them to her. Um, I bought two shirts from the bookish shop in this color, and then a mug. So, burgundy is like one of my favorite colors now, but I will not wear South Carolina Gamecock merch. You forget that mess. But, yeah, it is Leo Tolstoy, and... By that name, you can probably guess the book that's in this box. Um, it's got the uh, architecture, the Russian architecture, and I love this type. I showed my daughters this, and they was like, ooh, India? So, they can uh, differentiate uh, some Asian uh, architecture. next thing out of the box is this candle and it is a St. Petersburg that's the scent and it's just a tin with uh, pearls uh, a pearl sticker or hot glued I don't think it's glued, hot glued but yeah and it smells really good it doesn't have what scent it's on but it did come with a card this time so yay and yeah really pretty. I got a dish towel. I'm obsessed with dish towels. Every time I see one that I like, I'm going to buy it because you can never have too many dish towels. Not in my house at least because my husband, he works in construction. <coughs> he comes home, washes his hands, and then takes my nice dish towels and just dries his hands and gets dirt all over them and ruins them. Same with white towels and white sheets, which my bed set is also new. Walmart. Anyways, here's the dish towel, and it says, all the variety, all the charm, all the beauty of all is made up of light and shadow, and that is a quote by Leo Tolstoy. Very pretty blue dish towel. I don't know how well it soaks up water. I got a coffee this time and it is Anna Karenina. Roasted by Rwanda Bean, Portland, Maryland. Or Maine? Maine. Not Maryland, Maine. And uh, it doesn't have an ingredients list or, but this time it does have a label. Uh, here's the card. It just says uh, the coffee is an espresso roast blend from Rwanda Bean. The mug is a Leo Tolstoy 11 ounce ceramic mug from C and C and AC. Uh, the hand printed kitchen towel is also from C and AC. The snack, which me and my husband already ate, was Russian tea cookies from Sugar Sugar, and the hand poured soy candle it's also from C and E coffee and a classic and there's also a bookmark that I've already put in the book and here's the 
book. It is Anna Karenina. It is this very pretty edition. And it's got gilded gold foil. And the uh, bookmark. It, it's like the book charms that Books and Lala makes with her mom. Which I have not bought one yet. But I would really, really want to. And here's the bottom. It's like a cute little charm. And then the other side is a pearl, which I'm obsessed with pearls. And it's just a white ribbon. So I already have that in the book. I have not started reading it yet, but when I do start, I will have a bookmark ready. I don't know how it goes. I think this is supposed to go at the bottom and the pearl is supposed to go at the top, but whatever. And Leah Tostoy, Anna Karenina. I've never read a Russian classic. This will be my first. And I heard that most people start with this one. So, yeah. And I think that is all for my Coffee and Classic unboxing. Uh, yeah. So, and I keep the boxes because they are very useful. So, let's just put on this hot bag. The next thing is my Hot Topic haul. And the first thing I'm going to show you is a little present to myself um for just getting through the school year and getting through this whole year in general so far i needed it uh it was almost out of stock i think no i've been eyeballing this for a good few months i wanted it for christmas but i never got it um but that is this Lounge Fly Harry Potter purse, and it is gorgeous. It was originally fifty nine ninety nine. and I got it for like 40 bucks. And it's got Hogwarts in gold. It's got Hedwig carrying the Firebolt, I think. Yeah. And then on the other side, it just has... I'm trying to throw and knock myself out. It's got the Lounge Fly Harry Potter... Uh, and the Loungefly Lego or Harry Potter I don't think that's Harry Potter but it's got a snitch so it may be Harry Potter Hogwarts I don't know Hogwarts H Harry Potter H it's not Harry Potter there's no P anyways I had to buy this and <laughs> And it's got the uh, strap. When I start going places again, this will get a lot of use. And I also bought the uh, Deathly Hallows sneakers for my husband. He is uh, wearing down shoes constantly at his job. And I decided to get him just some sneakers to wear around the house and do some yard work in. Light yard work. I had to buy them because I wanted them for me but they didn't have my size I had to get a size 11 and it was too big for my foot so my husband it fits them so he got them come here come here you want to say hi to the people oh, hi oh, look. Oh, hi Yeah, he's been clingy all day. Probably because I was watching uh, The Walking Dead. Finally, season 8 and see episode 4. Okay, don't knock it over, please. Can you go? Okay, you got your snuggles. But yeah, see episode 4. Mm -mm. Nope, I lost it. Uh, Ezekiel, he's one of my favorite characters, and Shiva, I am obsessed with that tiger. Hi. What do you want? Oh, okay. Oh, come on. And I was just crying my eyes out, and he got into my lap. I just washed my hair. 
and I was crying my eyes out and he just jumped in my lap and started licking my face licking the tears off my face and it was just <sighs> can I help you sir he's gonna be rubbing up against me okay okay go <sighs> okay so first thing in my hot topic haul besides the purse is this humongous sweater I love Melanie Martinez. I love her music. My favorite song of hers is Dollhouse. And I watched her film K312. And the music is just chef's kiss. And I saw this. Had to have it. And that is this humongous sweater of the... Oh my god. That's, that's fucking huge. I can sleep in this. But, oh my god, it's no, uh -huh. the people don't want to see you get your butt out of my face. But, yeah, here's the, she's standing in front of the bus, the pink bus, and this was, it's a 3X, I kind of, I kind of bought a 2X. They've been getting my sizing wrong. Come on. Uh, but I'm not complaining because... This will keep me nice and snug when the weather goes back down. This is summery weather now. Um, and this was originally $42.90. What? I didn't buy it for that much. I'm going to spend $42 on the sweater. But yeah, I bought that. Right. Next thing is this makeup bag, but I'm not going to use it for makeup because I don't wear makeup. Uh, but it is Harry Potter Platform 9 and 3 quarters The Hogwarts Express And I've been getting into A lot more planning And I need uh, Stuff I need storage for my Multiple pins and stickers And Like paper clips and stuff So I wanted to use this This is the Platform 9 and 3 quarters Bag, the big one when I put my pens and stuff in here. And then this is the ticket, platform nine and three quarters. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here yet. Probably make this like a coin purse for my Harry Potter purse. And then I got the engine Hogwarts Express. And either this or this will become a coin purse. And I may give one of these to my kids as a coin purse. Probably Samantha to keep in her little fanny pack. Her solemnly swear I'm up to no good fanny pack that she got from Alcrate. And she can keep her money in this. And keep this in her fanny pack for when she goes on Girl Scout trips whenever they resume. Probably during the summer or next year. Next school year. But yeah. My girls are in Girl Scouts and they're... First full year has been eventful, to say the least. So, yes, I had to buy this because the last time they did something like this was the chocolate frogs and honey dukes. Not honey dukes, but a chocolate frog. And I wanted it and it sold out very fucking quickly. And this is um, Harry Potter and Danielle Nicole. I don't know who that is. I've never heard of her. But I needed it in my life. My snow was just rubbing up on me like uh, three minutes ago. He done curled up and went to sleep. You'll hear him snoring in a minute, probably. Uh, next thing is another Harry Potter item. And it is a hat. It's got roses and it's got Luna Lovegood Spectre Specs. And I don't wear hats often, but I've been like wearing my husband's hats whenever I go outside and do some gardening. Or just go outside in general to keep the sun off of my face. But, yeah. And this looks good. I like it. And my kids have already tried to steal it from me. So, no. Um, I have a whole bunch of hats in my closet that I've... <laughs> have not worn since I was a teenager. Like, 15 years ago. So... I'll be 30 in December. 
Um, I haven't grown up at all whatsoever. Three kids? No, no. Anyways. Another way you can tell I have not grown up is I got another shirt from Disney. And it's got Stitch on it. Lilo and Stitch. So. Look, it's Stitch. Experiment 626. And I'm talking about Harry. I'm talking about Lilo and Stitch while wearing a Harry Potter hat. But it is very pretty. And then the back, uh, it has like a jersey style Aloha with the number two and the flower. I uh, love the flowers. And yeah, I'm obsessed with this shirt. This is a shirt that's been in my cart for a good year. Because you know how you can, if you've ever been to Hot Topic, you know that you can like save the wish list and some things do sell out like last month I was looking at Ready Player One stuff that had been in my cart for years and they just now sold out months ago like I can't get uh, the Suxors shirt that I wanted the 101 the uh, Artemis I did get an Artemis shirt so I will be showing all that. But the key necklaces and little bath bombs and uh, Ready Player One merch, all gone. Funko Pops, have I already seen them? Non existent anymore. Probably on a different site, but more expensive. So, yeah. Uh, I got another shirt. I used to have a shirt like this, but I don't know what happened to it. When we moved, and finally, when we bought this house and moved from our rental, Casey left behind a bunch of stuff and shirts that were sentimental to me and stuff that was sentimental to us as a family and some of Sammy's baby stuff and workout gear and computers. An uh, old laptop that I wanted to get repaired, he left it all behind. And one of the shirts that got left behind was a Green Day tour shirt that my brother went to and he gave to me and it was something like it was a Green Day tour shirt but I cannot find that tour shirt anywhere so ended up getting this shirt Green Day American Idiot just to replace that Green Day shirt because it wasn't it meant a lot to me he went with his girlfriend at the time and me and his girlfriend clicked. I was considering, I was already calling her my sister. And then they broke up. And everything that I got as gifts from her and him, I still have besides that t shirt. And yeah. So I had to get this to replace it. And yeah. So, a little <laughs> sob childhood story. The Artemis shirt that I was talking about came yesterday in the mail separated, separate from the other stuff. And it is this shirt, Artemis from Ready Player One. I just, it's a red star burst type deal. And it's a muscle tank. A couple more things I can't show you because me and my husband already have them put up in our holiday stuff. I bought two more Harry Potter things for Christmas and it is a Harry Potter wreath. I'll put the picture right here and a Harry Potter garland. I had to buy them. Especially the wreath because it had uh, little hanging snitches on it which is stunning. But yeah, that is all for the clothes. I have two more Harry Potter things. <laughs> Are y'all sick of Harry Potter yet? I'm not. So, oh, and there's my tag. Okay, so, I bought another Funko Pop, even though my husband told me not to buy anymore. Do I listen to my husband? No. Am I an obedient wife? But, no. So, and this was the only uh, Harry Potter Funko Pop on Hot Topic that I saw that I did not have. Uh, and that is Nymphadora Tonks. I got Tonks. 
and it's her with the purple hair a uh, goblet of fire tonks when she's uh, helping Harry or saves Harry and yeah it's with the goblet of fire collection and it is the Funko 2020 Spring Convention Limited Edition Exclusive. So I don't know which one she goes between. Me and my husband um, numbers puts these in order by uh, their numbers. So I don't know who she's going to be by, but I'll see you tomorrow and show y'all. Why did you get another one? Because you like it? Yeah. Okay. And then the last thing in this haul is a mug. Like, I need any more mugs. I don't need any more mugs. I got mugs out the wazoo. So, let me get my scissors. I don't cut myself in the process. And Snow's like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mama? Cut in a box. Don't come near me. Oop, no, no. Opened it upside down. Typical. But I needed it when I saw it. And uh, I'm in love. And it's really true. It is a 14 ounce mug. So, my Keurig goes up to 12 ounces, so I'm going to have a shit ton of coffee, and I'm going to rinse it out in the morning, and I'm going to drink from it. And that is, I'd rather be at Hogwarts. A true story. I don't want to be here, stuck in my house any longer, but I'm keeping people safe. I'm ordering online. I'm doing a shit ton of online shopping, and I shouldn't, because I'm wasting money. I'm like, I don't need another mug. But it's really pretty and black inside. And it's double sided, which I like. And it's big and holds my coffee that I need to survive. Three kids on my own, homeschooling, voluntarily. And then work and taking care of three cats. Along with taking care of my plants outside and my vegetables. Oh, my vegetable garden is doing good. That was just a tangent, but yes. And it's white and pretty. And it's just the Hogwarts crest, and I love it. So, I'm on a shopping van for a good while, because the rest of my money has to pay bills. I've then paid my bills this month, and now I need to work and make some more money. I work from home, if y'all didn't know. Alright, this haul is done oh got two mugs in this haul um 11 ounce and a 14 ounce i'm gonna be drinking an odd shit ton of coffee but yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up <sighs> which way are you hit that subscribe button comment down below or no don't comment down below i don't care <laughs> i'll see y'all in my next video